Hello, hello, and welcome. We have a very special show for you today. We are going to be speaking to two women entrepreneurs. First up is Miss Sabrina Bailey with Established Grace, and she's going to be enlightening us on the topic of insurance. Then later on, we're going to be joined by Coach Kelly Marin, who is the owner of Spirit Enhancers, a cheer and dance gym. So you don't want to miss this show today. We'll be right back. I'm Danita Hayes, and this is Women Nation. We all need to be encouraged in this world that's in a spin. We all need some positivity. That's why I always tune in to Women Nation. Women Nation. Women Nation. Women Nation. Are you paying $1,000 or more for rent? Is your credit score 600? What are you doing? The Hayes Real Estate Team is here to make your dreams of home ownership come true. Hayes Real Estate Team made the process so easy. Yes, we purchased our first home using our VA loan with zero down and cash back at closing. And the Hayes Real Estate Team got my house under contract in less than 30 days. The Hayes Real Estate Team, all we do is make moves for you. The game of Monopoly taught us how to invest in real estate as a child. But unlike Monopoly, real estate investment does not come with instructions. I'm Chola Owens with World Class Realty, and I can help you pass, go, and collect your profit. Call me today. My name is Arlie Hatcher, also known as The Entrepreneurs on Instagram. I would love for you all to come out to the Defining Your Vision brunch and book signing for my book, Heart of a Mompreneur. You can get tickets at www.arliehatcher.com. Life is full of firsts, like buying your first home. The Hayes Real Estate Team is here to help, so you can focus on those other, more important firsts. The Hayes Real Estate Team. Posture and Distinguish was created by three childhood best friends who are also entrepreneurs. We wanted to get together to use our community involvement to empower women and provide them with the opportunity for women to promote their businesses while we reach out and support each other. Please join us Saturday, September 23rd from 1 to 4 p.m. at the Conference Suites located in Northern Suffolk, Virginia. Tickets will be available at Posh and Polish Nail Lounge or Lavish Hair Lounge. There will be special deals and promotions exclusively at the event, so don't miss out. First time home buyers, it's time. The Hayes Real Estate Team partners with certified credit professionals to make your home ownership dreams come true. To make your move, contact us today. The Hayes Real Estate Team. Women Nation. Welcome back, and we are joined here today with a very special guest, Ms. Sabrina Bailey of Established Grace and she's gonna to talk to us about insurance, something that we all need and something that we all need to know about. So welcome, Sabrina, and thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, Danita, I'm happy to be here. Awesome, awesome. So let's just get right into it. Um, before we get started, just tell us a little bit about yourself. Okay, well, um, I love the fact that you're talking to women entrepreneurs today because I actually never saw myself as being one I actually worked for a very well-known company, had been there and had every intention of retiring from there, mm -hmm. and they went out of business. Wow. And so I was faced with the um, having to decide what do I do with the next phase of my life. And I decided to get into the insurance business because I had always worked with the public. I had always worked with people who um, had to make decisions on you know different things that were happening in their lives, mm -hmm. such as credit, um, foreclosures, and things like that. Um, and then I got involved with life insurance because it's just one of those things that we typically yeah. don't pay close attention yeah. to. That's true. Um, we're kind of underserved, and a lot of people, just because they're not comfortable or not knowledgeable, they tend to not take care of it. And so I decided that's where I wanted to work. That's where I wanted to put my time and energy into just educating people and helping people make good decisions in regards to their insurance. Awesome, yeah, it's very important. And unfortunately, a lot of African-American people 
don't have life insurance. Right. So, you know, I'm glad you decided to come here today and kind of um, educate us on what the different policies are. Um, a lot of, I think one of the biggest questions that I hear people ask is what is the difference between whole life and term life? Which one is the best to get, you know? What, what's your opinion on that? Yeah, that's one of the biggest questions, the questions that we're, um, as an insurance agent, that I'm asked the most often. And it really depends on the person, the family, the situation. Like, I know you work in real estate. Mm -hmm. And so term insurance is the go-to policy for a person who's a homeowner okay. because it's also called mortgage protection. Ah. So you think about it as, as far as, um, say, you want to have insurance for a certain amount of time, like the length of your mortgage. Gotcha. You would get a term insurance policy. Oh, see, I mm -hmm. didn't know that. Yeah, because you want that mortgage to be covered. In the event of your death, you want your co, uh, your joint uh, mortgager or your spouse, in mm -hmm. most cases, to be able to pay that balance in full in the event that something happened to you. Okay. So it protects that mortgage. So um, term policies is going to be the, the go-to policy for a person who has a long-term obligation such as a mortgage or a car note, or if you're raising your children and you have minors, you want to have that maximum amount of coverage while your children are dependents. Okay, so let me just make sure I understand. Okay, so the term policy would cover, like if my spouse was to um, pass away, it would cover the mortgage that I owe on that property. Does it also cover, you know, like the funeral expenses as well? Absolutely. We call it mortgage protection because that's your concept when you're getting that policy is that it's going to cover the mortgage, but you actually get it in a sufficient amount to cover the mortgage plus all of the unsecured debt that you have together plus, of course, those final expenses. Mm -hmm. So say, for instance, you have a mortgage of a $100,000 balance. Okay. You may want to have a policy of two hundred dollars or $250,000. And I know the numbers sound kind of scary, but mm -hmm. those are actually the cheapest premium policies to own are those mortgage protection or those term policies. Yeah. yeah, and I've always known that the term was cheaper, so I didn't realize that it actually would cover your mortgage as well. I thought it would just cover your funeral expenses or, you know, up to a certain amount and mm -hmm. for a certain amount of time. Right. But you can get it. The term can be for the 30 year mortgage, which I never thought about that. That's yeah, really good. Absolutely. So tell us what is um, whole life insurance? Because that's that's what we have. We have whole life insurance. Mm -hmm. Well, whole life insurance is the one that's for um, they call that your living policy okay. because you your your whole life policy is going to accumulate or accrue um, a savings account. It has a savings account attached to it. So you have those, um, it has living benefits. So even though your policy pays out the cash, the, the face amount upon your death, mm -hmm. a whole life policy also has a bank that's accumulating every year that you're alive that you can borrow against you can turn that money into into additional income upon your retirement um, you could use that money to take out a loan to borrow against um, for babies for infants when those types of policies are established for an infant by the time they're ready to go to college that money could be used to supplement some of their tuition or some of their uh, boarding expenses for college mm -hmm. So it has that, that uh, savings account. I like to call it a savings account because typically people don't even realize it's there, so yeah. they won't touch it, yeah. which is actually a good thing because it's accumulating and every year it's, it's growing with you. So you'll be able to access those funds and it's your money. So it's not a matter of you being approved for it. It's your money that you get to gotcha. borrow. So basically what's accruing is the premiums that you're paying on that policy. A portion of a it. A portion of it. Mm -hmm. Okay. But you still, would, even if you borrowed against it, you would still get your full benefit if, if you had to collect on the policy, right? Absolutely. Because it's two separate accounts. I'm going to speak in layman's terms. Yes, it's two do. separate <laughs> accounts. So you have one face amount that's payable to your beneficiaries upon your demise. Okay. And then you have that savings cash accumulation account that you can use while you're alive. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. So tell us, what is your advice? Which policy do you think is the best one to get or should should you get both? It sounds like you could, should probably get both. I suggest to most people to get both. 
I'm going to use myself for example. Mm -hmm. I don't have any children. Okay. However, I have a husband, we have a mortgage. I want to make sure that in the event that I pass away, he's able to take care of all of our unsecured debts um, you know, in, in, if I leave here. But because I hope to live a long, full life, <laughs> and I, I would hope to live into my 70s or my 80s, I would like to have that additional money to supplement my income in retirement. Mm. So I, I actually have a whole life policy and a term policy. Okay, so this is um, the last question I'm gonna ask you before we go to break. Um, so, you know, I'm 41. Is it too late for me to get a, a policy? Because I know they say you, you need to be young, you have to be in the best of health. Well, so. you don't have to be. Mm -hmm. Ideally, you want to get your insurance when you're young because the younger you are, the least expensive it is. Mm -hmm. A whole life policy, the premium never changes. So if you got that policy at age 12, you can be 50 years old and still paying the same premium. Gotcha. Whereas at, I'm 47. So my term policy is only in the 30s, though. It's $38 a oh, month. Oh, that's not bad. Not bad at all. I'm not a smoker. So your health, your lifestyle, and your age dictates the, the, um, um, the cost of your insurance. Okay, gotcha. Mm -hmm. So when you're younger, of course, you don't have any ailments. Most times you don't have any physical um, and your medical issues that's going to keep your policy mm -hmm. from getting from you getting that prime um, premium. So um, it's a lot of different factors. Okay. But the best time to get the insurance if you don't have the insurance is it's now. Gonna, yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're right. only going to get older and it's going to yeah. be more expensive. Well, I guess, Chris, um, we'll be getting some term life insurance. <laughs> we got our whole life. Now we're going to get some term. So just so you know. So we're going to take a little break and when we come back, we're going to come back with Coach Kelly Marin. She again is the owner of the Spirit Enhancer Cheer Gym and we're going to be talking about the All-Star Cheer Sport. So you don't want to miss that when we come back. Life is full of firsts, like buying your first home. The Hayes Real Estate Team is here to help so you can focus on those other, more important firsts. The Hayes Real Estate Team. Posture Distinguished was created by three childhood best friends who are also entrepreneurs. We wanted to get together to use our community involvement to empower women and provide them with the opportunity for women to promote their businesses while we reach out and support each other. Please join us Saturday, September 23rd from 1 to 4 p.m. at the Conference Suites located in Northern Suffolk, Virginia. Tickets will be available at Posh and Polish Nail Lounge or Lavish Hair Lounge. There will be special deals and promotions exclusively at the event, so don't miss out. Are you paying $1,000 or more for rent? Is your credit score 600? What are you doing? The Hayes Real Estate Team is here to make your dreams of home ownership come true. Hayes Real Estate Team made the process so easy. Yes, we purchased our first home using our VA loan with zero down and cash back at closing. And the Hayes Real Estate Team got my house under contract in less than 30 days. The Hayes Real Estate Team, all we do is make moves for you. The game of Monopoly taught us how to invest in real estate as a child. But unlike Monopoly, real estate investment does not come with instructions. I'm Chola Owens with World Class Realty, and I can help you pass, go, and collect your profit. Call me today. My name is Arlie Hatcher, also known as The Entrepreneur on Instagram. I would love for you all to come out to the Defining Your Vision brunch and book signing for my book, Heart of a Mompreneur. You can get tickets at www.arliehatcher.com. First time home buyers, it's time. The Hayes Real Estate Team partners with certified credit professionals to make your home ownership dreams come true. To make your move, contact us today. The Hayes Real Estate Team. Women Nation. Ooh. Hello and welcome back, everyone. We are excited today. I am sitting here with Coach Kelly Marin. She is the owner of Spirit Enhancers Cheer and Dance Gym, and she's going to talk to us today a little bit about her all-star team. So welcome, Kelly. Thank you for having me. 
I'm so excited to have you here today. I was actually a cheerleader in high school and in college. Okay. So tell me a little bit about your business. Tell us about the all-star because you guys actually do all-star cheer, not just regular cheer. So tell, you know, enlighten us on what is the difference, you know, between all-star and regular cheer. Okay. Well, with all-star cheerleading, we don't cheer for a specific team. So they don't cheer for football or basketball. We literally travel around and compete. So we, it's under the USASF, so that's United States All-Star Federation. Okay. So that's why we are under All-Star. But we have different levels, different divisions, and our teams are broken up by the skill level as well as the age level of the girls. Okay. So what ages do you work with? Right now, the youngest I have is three years old. The oldest I have is 15. And our older girls, my junior team, so that's 12, 13, and 14 year olds, they are national champions. They have oh, wow. some champion that championships under their belt. And they, they are the hardest working group just because I really don't have to set too many goals for them. They okay. set their own goals and they'll come to me and say, coach, okay, this is what we want to do. We want to go to this competition. We want jackets here. We want trophies here. We want a ring here. So it's, they're the most exciting group to work with right now. Yeah, and I, I bet it's fun just working with a, a lot of little girls, yes. spirited little girls. Yes. So do you have daughters? I do, I have two. Okay, so are they on your team? Okay, yes, they <laughs> are on the team. So how old are they? Um, nine and seven. Okay. So the seven-year-old is sassy. She actually told me yesterday she was pulled up. The assistant coach pulled her up to a higher level team. And I said, okay, you're going to have to work really hard to stay on this team. Mommy, I'm already on the team. I said, okay, but you're going to have to work hard to stay on the team because she's so young being pulled up to this older gotcha. team. She's full of sass. She is my dancer. She won a national hip hop championship two years ago. Okay. And then my nine year old is my tumble girl. She tumbles all the time. Wow. So basically, so yeah, so let's talk about the dance part of it. So okay. you have like two separate divisions, your cheer and then you have your dance? Yes. Okay. So the all-star cheer is composed of no words, no cheerleading per se. So the traditional style of cheerleading. Okay. It's two and a half minutes to nothing but music. But they stunt, they tumble, they jump, they do motions. And then the last thing they do will be the dance. Gotcha. And that's all cheer. And then I have the all-star dance, which is mostly hip hop. And you know, I think a lot of people don't really realize how much work goes into it. It's a lot, y'all. A whole lot. I used to be a cheerleader too. <laughs> but, dude, I mean, tell me, how many hours per week like are these girls practicing, especially competition? It's different. They have five hours of just routine practice, mm -hmm. and then they have an hour and a half of tumble practice a week. Wow. That's a lot. It is a lot. Now, I'm about to ask you a question. Uh-oh. Okay. <laughs> a lot of cheerleaders and cheer coaches, let me tell y'all, if y'all have never cheered, this question is something that really irks us. A lot of people try to say that cheer is not a sport. How do you feel about that? It really makes the fire start to come out of my ears, my nose, my mouth, because it takes a whole lot of athleticism in order to cheer. Absolutely. And anyone who believes that cheerleading is not a sport, I invite you to come to a practice. Just one, not all, just one. Yeah. And it will definitely life. change your mind. Yeah. I remember like we had to run, we had to go in the weight room because you're lifting girls. Right. You know, you have to know how to fly. There's a special technique. It is it's not easy being a flyer either. So it's a special technique. So you got to do all these dances. So it's a lot. It is definitely a sport. It is it's definitely a sport. So I enjoy it. I, I did enjoy it a lot. And I'm sure you enjoy seeing your girls, your girls growing up and pretty much following in your footsteps as well. I love it. The best thing I can say about coaching, because I cheered as well, mm -hmm. is watching an athlete come in with little to no skill and leaving with all these new skills or just the progression mm -hmm. of what they can do. It is the most fulfilling thing. Awesome. So let me ask you this, and this is just like getting back, getting into the entrepreneurial side of this. What made you step out 
and actually open your own cheer and dance gym. And how, how long did you say that you've had it open for? It's been open. We've had a physical building for 10 years, but okay. I started 11 years ago with six girls from Maury High School. I was coaching at Maury High School and we went to a competition, a local competition, mm -hmm. um, maybe the district competition. And I, when we got to regionals, Chesapeake and Virginia Beach blew us out the water. Wow. And I was like, what is the difference? Like, we have the same talent. What is the difference? What, what are they doing that we aren't doing? Mm -hmm. And I realized the resources that they, they would drive to Virginia Beach to an all-star gym and get training. Uh, and we weren't doing that. Gotcha. So I just wanted to do something where the girls could receive that type of training. So when we go to the regional competitions, we could actually compete, not just be there. Because they literally were gonna be like, oh, okay, well, let's just watch all the other teams, it's fine. <laughs> like, no, we're going to win. Like, no coach, we're, mm -mm, we're going. We so they chill. didn't have like the, the tumbling aspect of it right. and the different stunting. Or did you got, did they have stunts or? We stunted, but not on the level as some of the other districts. Gotcha. And we had, I think my first year, we had maybe two or three girls that could tumble versus these other districts where the entire squad tumbles. Mm -hmm. Like, I cheered at Western Branch High School, and right now I could not make the middle school team because everybody tumbles. <laughs> so it's hard. They start so much younger. Yeah, they do. They do. So um, what is it that got you into cheering, though? Like, is this something that you've always wanted to do? Yes. You know, besides you cheering yourself? Yes. I started cheering dance age four and five, and literally it is my passion. Everything I have done, I have added cheer and dance to it. I taught for 13 years, and for a few of those years, I was working my, owning my gym and teaching. And I just decided that I really wanted to pursue my business full time. Um, my first year teaching, I added a dance class to the curriculum. Mm -hmm. And my friends was like, okay, fine. I said, well, I wanna have a recital. Okay, cool. And I mean, I've always had so much support. My mom made the costumes. My brother came and choreographed a routine. He's not a dancer, but he came and choreographed a routine. When I came back home, that was in Richmond. I came back home and taught in Norfolk. Okay, can I add tumbling to the curriculum? Okay, sure. I taught elementary school. All right, let's get on the mats. Let's learn how to tumble. So the final question that I want to ask you before we take another break um, you know, sometimes there are other entrepreneurs out there who have the same passion, the same dream as you do. Maybe they may want to open up a dance studio or a cheer and dance uh, gym just like you have. Give the people some advice on what are some of the first steps that they need to take to get it done and just tell them what should they do to prepare. Okay, the first thing I would say is to research where you are going to put your gym the second thing, go to as many why? conferences. Tell us why. Okay. <laughs> the area where you are is going to affect the clientele and the girls that you want to come in. I chose the city that I chose because I felt like we didn't have a resource where we are. Okay. That people were driving all the way to Virginia Beach. Gotcha. Or across the water somewhere. And I, I just want... I wanted those girls to get the same experience that I experienced because like I said, I went to Western Branch, so we were traveling to go to camps and to do things and not every other school has that opportunity. The second thing, go to as many conferences as you can, learn as much as you can. With the world of cheer, it changes so much. I'm also a certified judge through VHSL. Literally rules have changed since last year. Okay. So just stay up on the rules and everything will kind of fall into place. If it is your passion, everything is going to fall into place. I have really just stepped out on faith. I didn't get any business loans. I did everything awesome. just, hey, I just want to do this. All right, God help me. <laughs> <laughs> and it's all just worked out. That's what it is. That's what it is. Well, thank you so much for thank joining for us today. Me. I really appreciate it. And we will be right back with our final words of wisdom. The game of Monopoly taught us how to invest in real estate as a child. But unlike Monopoly, real estate investment does not come with instructions. I'm Chola Owens with World Class Realty, and I can help you pass, go, and collect your profit. Call me today. Life is full of firsts, like buying your first home. The Hayes Real Estate Team is here to help, so you can focus on those other, more important firsts. The Hayes Real Estate Team. 
Boston Distinguished was created by three childhood best friends who are also entrepreneurs. We wanted to get together to use our community involvement to empower women and provide them with the opportunity for women to promote their businesses while we reach out and support each other. Please join us Saturday, September 23rd from 1 to 4 p.m. at the Comfort Suites located in Northern Suffolk, Virginia. Tickets will be available at Posh and Polish Nail Lounge or Lavish Hair Lounge. There will be special deals and promotions exclusively at the event, so don't miss out. Are you paying $1,000 or more for rent? Is your credit score 600? What are you doing? The Hayes Real Estate Team is here to make your dreams of home ownership come true. Hayes Real Estate Team made the process so easy. Yes, we purchased our first home using our VA loan with zero down and cash back at closing. And the Hayes Real Estate Team got my house under contract in less than 30 days. The Hayes Real Estate Team, all we do is make moves for you. First time home buyers, it's time. The Hayes Real Estate Team partners with certified credit professionals to make your home ownership dreams come true. To make your move, contact us today. The Hayes Real Estate Team. My name is Arlie Hatcher, also known as The Entrepreneur on Instagram. I would love for you all to come out to the Defining Your Vision brunch and book signing for my book, Heart of a Mompreneur. You can get tickets at www.arliehatcher.com. Hey everybody and welcome back. We hope that you enjoyed our show today. As you can see, I'm sitting here by myself. I don't have my beautiful co-host, Miss Chola Owens. Unfortunately, she was involved in a car accident, but God, to God be the glory, she is doing okay and she will be back with us next week. I just wanted to say how befitting the show was today because we had Miss Sabrina Bailey on enlightening us on having uh, life insurance and the importance of having it and the different types. So it's just so important guys that you have life insurance and that you love your loved ones while they're here on this earth because we never know when uh, something could happen to them. And then we also had Coach Kelly Marin, and she talked to us today about stepping out on faith and being an entrepreneur. She talked to us about doing something that is her passion, and that is the most important thing. So I am just super excited that the ladies stopped by today to talk to me, and I hope that whatever it is that is on the inside of you that God has placed inside of you, that you will allow it to manifest while you're here on earth. Remember, guys, you have to let go of fear and activate your faith. So thank you again, and we will see you next week on Women Nation. We all need to be encouraged in this world that's in us spin. We all need some positivity.